Hello friends, today I am going to teach you how to host a web using VPS in cPanel. So, first you have to come to this hosting panel. You can use my product. First we need to manage our domain. Click on domain. Select any one. Already managed. I'm just going to show you how to do this. Manage DNS. See this one. Most names. Make sure you are having these two entries. If you don't have, just click on add. Then S1, then your IP address. This one is your public IP address. I will tell you where you can get this one. Then save. You click on DNS management. Then this name servers. Click change already customized uh, it should be on default first just change it to custom then ns1 dot your domain name ns2 dot your domain name then save this is how you can set up your domain while you done after that just for hosting so, so let's see what is this this one is my company name here you can check your status and this one is your login username and password for your server we use this one when we use remote connection using putty because we are using Linux system here, of course. These are the settings. If you want to change your OS, you can change here. So let's go to C panel, manage server. How I created this one? Let me tell you. Just right here, create a new account. Enter your domain name, your username your password and retype password Don domain name mymagicsell.com password any password you can write here your email id of course then create this thing will create this border this thing so like we are going to do a host of java web application so what we need here is tomcat for that we are going to use down we are going to download easy apache 3 uh, it's very easy to install like it's already installed in my system so i don't have to install it again if it is not you can install here there will be option yeah just one important thing is here while you are installing a easy apache 3 just make sure after installation you can check go to this customize profile here this is very important don't forget and just next ok next yeah, this one short option list this is very important just drop down tomcat 7 just make sure this tomcat 7 is clicked if it is not then just select it and save and reboot this is very important 
after that when you perfectly install this one it will take 15 minutes I think when you installed it just search here served it it will come after finishing this one if you properly install your tomcat it will definitely come mm, yeah you can see domains here you can select any domain which you want to enable server just select the domain and install it's the JSP supported installed for adhigamindia.com now you are ready to host your website just go back in cpanel one more thing what you have to do is just click file manager we have to open this public underscore html folder sometimes some file must be here or you can delete all the files it's fine clean it and then click on upload you need project I'm going to use this one here just clean and do CTRF project this is my CTRF so DIST this folder you can check the URL take this file paste here so it's upload, uploaded now okay public underscore html make sure this show hidden file options on and I will tell you what is this file it's very important now click ctrf.bar just rename this file and bar to zip and then rename file just click here and extract extract file the file is extracted now I'm going to check Media.com. So, as you can see, it's working. It's different values, <laughs> and I'm just going to show you how to host. It's very easy. I'm using very different files here JSP and, of course, HTML also. And let me show you a JSP file. Click here. Yeah, because my database is not connected right now. This system is on this for local database. I have to change the values from the database I will create here. So this one how we host the website if you have any problem you can ask me anytime it's so easy really now what is this stt st access file let's open this one right now it's empty but actually it's very important file I will tell you in next tutorial you can do so many things with this like you can set your home page usually what default home page is index.html but what if you are not using index.html as a home page or using any different page so you can define in 
htaccess.htaccess file which file you want to use as a home page thank you